Hello everyone, welcome to Retro Recall on this fabulous Friday evening, January 6th. Uh, Happy New Year to 2023 to all of uh, my viewers. Um, tonight we're going to be um, actually just doing a small video, a short video uh, this evening. Uh, we're going to be loading up the Pentium 200 um, custom built PC that I had built out of new old stock parts a while back. I'll do a video on that another time. But for this evening, we're going to be loading up the Pentium um, custom built PC. We're going to be loading up the Print Shop Deluxe uh, Ensemble 3 software. This particular software has some memories uh, for myself. I had, um, I had used it quite a while when I was younger, uh, quite a bit, sorry, when I was younger, and had printed to a DustJet 600C. Unfortunately, I was not able to um, obtain another DeskJet 600C, and the one I had, um, unfortunately, is no longer around. Um, but fortunately, I was able to find a new old stock Hewlett Packard DeskJet 670C, and new old stock, uh, right to the right to the bones. I was able to uh, open up the seal. It was quite the experience. I wish I'd caught it on video. I did not. Um, however, I did take it out. I was able to get it all open and I was so excited, couldn't connect it to a computer, had to run the uh, test application by holding down the uh, resume button here um, for approximately three seconds and that generates the test print cycle um, via the internal Hewlett Packard um, uh, application um, hardware. So the, the printer was able to print um, a test page and came out and it was quite quite splattered with the ink that had come with it and of course I was discouraged thinking that it was an issue with the printer but I took my chances went online was able to find um, some new old stock uh, Hewlett Packard genuine Hewlett Packard um, print cartridges for this unit um, as well as uh, Walmart Canada was able to also carry original not new old stock this is new stock Hewlett Packard um, cartridges for this unit so I was very excited to have those so that said, uh, tonight we're going to load up the app computer, load up the application, and also load up um, um, or go ahead and print just something just to, just to feel the experience. So I'm going to go ahead and turn on the, uh, the monitor. This monitor is a uh, ViewSonic a Professional Series P95F+. Plus. It's a 19-inch um, CRT monitor. Still works uh, well, this is one of my originals. I did purchase this when I was younger as well, um, but it is um, quite heavy. Uh, great unit though, uh, flat screen now. Just a little note on the uh, on the actual um, monitor itself. This did come with a coating uh, that was on it. Unfortunately, the coating over the years had uh, gone ahead and um, wore off, whether it was from fingerprints or from Windex or some different things that had happened um, over the many, many years that it's been in service. And so ultimately what happened was um, it was very discouraging. I couldn't remove the, uh, the um, I couldn't actually remove the, um, the coating. So I was able to do some research and it seems that a much concentrated amount of Windex could continue to remove the rest of the film. So I was able to do that. So the anti-glare is off of it, unfortunately. You can see the glare on the screen today. I will look at that some uh, some other day, uh, but for the sake of the uh, video today, we're just going ahead and again just loading up the system, uh, the Pentium 200 that I have here. I have 128 megabytes of RAM in this particular uh, system of EDO memory. Um, this particular motherboard is a BioStar motherboard. Does have the ability to put a DIMM slot in it, uh, but however, I was fortunate enough to find uh, four um, sticks of uh, EDO memory, which will um, which will do what we needed to do today. Um, Again, uh, just loading up Windows 98. I have Windows 98 Second Edition on this particular PC, and we're going to just uh, wait for the Windows startup here and the beautiful Windows startup sound. I'll go ahead and turn that down. Yeah, so here we are. So as you can see, I have the uh, the desktop loading here. Um, it is the HP 670C. I do have the actual printer installed on this PC, amongst many other other uh, applications that I have. I have quite a bit of box software, quite a bit of applications. Uh, and things like that, which I will show over over time. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and just uh, load up the uh, PC. Again, it's quite quick, um, just because of the um, um, it's a relatively new install, and uh, go from there. So I'm just looking for the Print Shop Deluxe Ensemble Three, and we'll go ahead and uh, get that um, get this uh, get this uh, get this running for us. 
Uh, let's give me two minutes here and uh, we'll find uh, we'll find where it is here and we'll go from there. So the print shop and uh, Ensemble 3. I'm just loading it up here. So again, this application I had uh, used quite a bit uh, over the years and it was quite exciting. Actually, I had used it on my Epson FX 1050 dot matrix printer. This per the particular printer is actually sitting over here and uh, I'll do another video on that another time. And I'm just going to move this in a little bit just so everyone can see the, the monitor there. Um, exactly what we're looking for. So for today's video, we're just going to do something simple, uh, only because again, I don't, I'm not going to do a quick banner or anything like that, just because um, generally I use the uh, continuous feed paper to do that uh, on the dot matrix. But for the sake of the um, Hewlett Packard um, DeskJet printer today, we're just going to go ahead and just um, just do a quick, uh, quick uh, sign or poster, just something quick just so we can see it here. So I'm going to do a ready-made. I'm not, not very uh, design worthy this evening, so I'm not going to go ahead and do that, but I'm just going to go ahead and choose something something fun. So let's uh, let's go ahead and just do a celebration. Uh, we just did just do New Year's, so I'm uh, not here to do any sort of um, review on the actual application. I'm a big fan of LGR. Um, uh, anybody who uh, knows LGR is on YouTube. Uh, amazing amazing uh, content creator go on youtube let's do a search for lgr do a search for print shop ensemble and uh, you'll see his uh, his review on that it's an, it's absolutely amazing uh, very inspiring so i'm just gonna look here and look for some new years uh and i do see new year um city streamers happy new year very you know something very relatively simple i'm gonna go ahead and select that and uh, here it is preparing the document for me. As you can see, the PC is fairly quick. I can't imagine back in the day <laughs> where I custom built this. I can't imagine back in the day I felt it was that quick. I'm pretty confident that I had waited quite a while for that to load. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and uh, just do a file print. Again, today's point of the video is just to demonstrate uh, the printing on the actual desk jet itself. So I'm going to go ahead and file print. And um, as you can see, it actually shows the printer of the F FX 1050 selected at this moment. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just choose the um, DeskJet 670C. Now, I do have um, an actual LPT uh, printer switcher uh, device here already. So both printers are running through this um, at the moment. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit OK on that so that the computer recognizes that it is a, um, uh, that this is where I want to print it to. I'm doing one, pr uh, one copy, of course. Um, now, in terms of options, I'm not going to go ahead and change any of the options or the alignments or anything like that on the printer. Again, we're not going to do anything super fancy today uh, for that. I can go in here and do a whole bunch of things. I'm going to pretty much leave it on, on normal quality. There are other settings we can use on here. For example, EconoFast. EconoFast is more of an ink uh, saving um, option that is also faster for the printer to spit it out. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and do automatic. I'm going to do normal print. Uh, nothing exciting for that. In terms of the paper, just again, letter 8.5 by 11. Uh, we're doing plain paper today. And uh, again, I'm not doing any services to the actual printer. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit okay on that and hit okay again. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit okay to uh, print. Now it's gonna be ahead and sending the signal to the printer and the printer's living up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and just do this and everybody will be experiencing the uh, Hewlett Packard DeskJet 670C uh, print and uh, ideally we'll print in full color mode. It's going ahead and just aligning and uh, preparing the print cartridges for the print that's gonna come through. Um, one of the things I've noticed as I've done this is uh, with the box, I have not lost any qual color quality or printing quality or even printing speed because I'm using uh, this particular switching uh, data transfer switch that I'm using. Um, I do have short cables that are set up between each. The key is having short cables and uh, minimizing the joiners that you have uh, to eliminate any sort of static or any sort of um, 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 interference uh, particularly with that so again here's the uh, DeskJet 670c uh, printing away uh, as if we're back in the 90s the early 90s and uh, it's exciting to relive these experiences and this particular setup that I have uh, took me quite a while to um, to find the parts to source uh, some of it's my own uh, items that I got over the years um, some of it is new old stock that I found in thrift stores uh, this particular unit was on eBay, um, and um, and uh, the keyboard itself, uh, again, um, is um, uh, another new old stock item that I have. And same thing with the uh, mouse that I have here. So 
Um, I do see that the actual printer itself is uh, printing out the unit now. It is a blue uh, unit here, but it is printing out uh, more pink on here. So that's telling me that the um, cartridge itself either needs to be cleaned um, or uh, that particular part of the ink cartridge uh, is, um, is dried up. So for the sake of today, we're going to continue <laughs> printing with this uh, just to show the, the printer itself and ultimately I will uh, locate uh, another, either another cartridge or um, clean the print cartridge, or sorry, clean the print head uh, on the unit. And one of the things about uh, inkjets uh, I learned over the years, and again, I don't use this every single day, uh, is that you need to either use them all the time. Uh, when I say all the time, at least once a week, once every two weeks, uh, and relatively uh, print a few items. Uh, if you don't do that, then uh, you do run into problems like this where unfortunately some of the colors uh, dry up or there's um, there's an issue uh, with the uh, with the cartridge itself. Now I did do a full print of this um, test page of this uh, a few weeks back and it was working fine so my anticipation or my um, my thoughts go right to I just got to do some cleaning of the print head use some of the HP utilities and uh, clean that off. Um, barring that, there's other methods you can use uh, to clean that up, but uh, for the sake of today, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and just continue the print and uh, go from there. But yes, uh, this is exciting, uh, being able to sit back on uh, January 6th of 2023 and print on a 1995 um, uh, printer and uh, using Windows 98 on a monitor that's actually genuinely uh, from the early 2000s. And uh, the PC itself, uh, which I'll do another, like I said, I'll do a review another day. Um, was from new old stock parts as well. Uh, they had gone into a warehouse and found some um, parts, which uh, they were able to uh, ship to me. So it was quite quite awesome. So there we go. As you can see, the color is completely <laughs> different from the screen, blue versus the uh, more agenda. You can see it's trying. Um, so again, I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a clean uh, of the print head, not on today's video, uh, but I'm going to go ahead and clean that up and get that going um, a little better than it is now. And ultimately, uh, once that is uh, cleaned up, this should come up just to like that. And that's the beauty of the inkjet. Um, and, uh, and then, yes, we'll go from there. So for the sake of today's video, I'm going to go ahead and just shut down this um, this application now, the Print Shop Ensemble, and I'm not going to save my changes just because, again, it's pretty pretty stock. I'm going to go ahead and um, shut down the uh, the application. Now, this particular printer, or sorry, this particular computer, I do have a couple of applications that tend to uh, delay the exit. So I'm just going to go ahead and shut down now, and uh, we'll enjoy the sound. The good old Windows 98. And uh, yeah, so thanks again for uh, for joining me this evening for this quick video. And uh, it's one of those wonderful experience that we get um, living nostalgia equipment and uh, makes me very nostalgic for this, uh, this setup. And uh, I will be back soon to with another video to um, to showcase another piece of the retro hardware. Again, welcome to Retro Recall and have a wonderful evening. Take care, everyone.